friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am here to share with you what I received in my February Essential Rewards box from Young Living. Young Living has a monthly subscription box that they call Essential Rewards that allows you to each month design a wellness box for what you and your family need. And in doing so, you get a uh, free product that Young Living sends you and you also get points back which equate to dollars that you can spend however you want through with um, for Young Living uh, products. So I'm going to show you what I got. Some of the items are new to me. Some of them are restocks. Um, but truth be told, this is the second time I'm doing this video because I lost the footage to the first one, uh, which is kind of good because it has allowed me to use some of these products so that now I can share with you the ones that were new to me, how I have been using them the last couple days. So let's get started. The first uh, product that I got this month is an oil, is marjoram. And marjoram is one oil that I tested for on the Itovi scanner. So if you are unfamiliar with that, the Itovi scanner uh, is a little handheld device that you hold for about two minutes and it registers all the frequencies in your body or frequencies that you are missing and lets you know in um, a whole bunch of areas where you need support the most. <clears throat> I can't say I was a skeptic about this uh, because I had never, I've never done it before. I'm just new to the whole essential oils world. Um, but I was fascinated by it because it nailed what I have been working on, which is skin and gut health. So, okay, had to get the dog quiet. So, marjoram. First one that I scanned for on the Itovi scanner. Again, it is for overall support for me. This is something that my body needs for skin. It needs it for emotional support. So I had never had this oil, so I got it. And I have been using this in a pill. So every day I have three pills that I take of oils. And I have made them with the little gel caps and I took all the ones that I didn't want on a roller and just put them in a cap that I take every day. So the amount of oils that I needed, the size pills that I have allow for about 15 drops of oils. And because I needed a little bit more, that's why I take three. So marjoram is the first one. The next one I scanned for, for skin support is lemon myrtle. And lemon myrtle smells wonderful. It is so light, so refreshing, so citrusy as you would imagine, but not a sharp citrus. Um, very, very pleasant. Um, and so this is one, another one I take in a pill form. So right now I'm mixing these and a, a few others that I already had that I didn't have to purchase. Um, I know I needed fennel, um, marjoram was a huge one, a, a, a bunch of others. So I just mix them in the pills and take them every day. The next one I uh, got that I have never had before and I am super excited about is, um, people pronounce it different every single time, so um, copaiba, that's how I'm going to say it this video. It could change next time. Um, I got this oil because I scanned for it, but I have heard that this oil is, it does not have a smell. I cannot smell it. Sometimes, like I think I just got something there and it kind of smells like celery, but then I think it smells like really, really mild, um, green olive juice <laughs> yeah I if I if somebody said smell this right off the bat I would say oh it doesn't have a smell um, so copaiba is what a lot of uh, people have referred to as a magnifier so whatever oil 
it is paired with, it magnifies the properties of that oil and really lets your body absorb and get the most out of whatever it is paired with. So this is one that has gone into my pills that I'm taking. Um, and I have been taking them for, let's see, I'm recording this on a Sunday. I have been taking them for exactly one week. And I feel, I feel good. I didn't feel bad before the iTobi scanner. Um, but I know that's not true. I did feel bad. That's why I got into essential oils. Um, so yes, I do believe that I am feeling the effects of consistency, um, of consistency of putting good things in my body. And Copaiba is helping me magnify that. So that is that. Uh, Juva Cleanse Vitality. I scanned for this as well. And I decided that I have not, I have not started this yet. And I'll tell you why. Um, about a month ago, I did a really intense detox. Uh, so much so that my body kind of like went berserk and I got this really, really um, horrific rash on my thyroid because that was where I was putting all of the oils because it was a thyroid cleanse and or a hormonal cleanse, I should say. And so I decided that I was not going to start any type of liver detoxification process until I knew that my body was kind of getting settled. I didn't want it to be in a constant state of, of turmoil because when those toxins were coming out, and, and I'm sure they still are because there are still areas in my life that I have not completely switched over to clean products, um, it was intense, <laughs> just to, to say the least. Um, I didn't feel bad. It looked awful. Uh, it, it itched, but I was very thankful that I had um, oils that I was able to make and an itch spray that really, really helped. Um, but, but anyway, so I have not started Juva Cleanse. So this will be something that I start in March and I will report back um, outside of these unboxing videos in videos coming up of how I am using all of these products and what they are doing for me. But until I had some some sort of baseline and um, you know areas of improvement, um, I haven't had a reason really yet to um, to do an update. But I will say, I posted on social media that since about October, I have been not super consistent consistently. But I would say probably 75% of the time, I was rubbing on. I had two little skin tags, um, and they were just annoying enough that I wanted them gone, but I didn't want to laser, I didn't want to do anything gross. So I read that frankincense. I also read that frankincense was really good for your thyroid. So I would rub, you know, roll that on, and I would always make sure that I got my skin tags. Well, lo and behold, two days ago, I woke up and the skin tag was gone. So I posted it on one of my chat groups and, you know, everybody obviously was very excited and people were um, jazzed to try it. So there are some things I can report on. Um, actually, there's a lot I can report on. So stay tuned. We'll have some more videos coming. Um, every one of my essential reward orders has a lavender in it. I had the lavender going all the time um, at night. It is one of the oils that we diffuse in our bedroom for sleep. Um, it is an oil that is in one of my um, skin serums that I just put together based on you know what I need. Um, this is an all over. This is an all over oil. Anytime I'm trying to make a perfume or something, nine times out of ten, one. A portion of that mix has lavender in it. So I always have lavender. One of my favorite diffuser blends right now that I am doing is Northern Lights Black Spruce and Tangerine. So I, <coughs> excuse me, that was not because of this. Um, 
I have been I have the five mil of Northern Lights. And so this month I got the the Big Daddy and it oh my gosh, it smells so good. Oh, it is such a relaxing, comforting, just an amazing smell. And then paired with that tangerine that is citrusy and bright, it smells it smells so good. So so good. Okay, so those were a few things. Um, the majority, um, all of them, with the exception of uh, lavender and black spruce, all those oils are new to me. And um, like I said, I will continue to report back on how I am using them and what, um, uh, and yeah, and, and how I'm using them. Okay, and uh, another product that was new to me this month is the Rose Ointment. Super excited to have this. Here in Michigan, it is extremely dry, especially in the houses where we've got the heat going. And this week we had a really, a really um, big cold front. So this is what, the cream comes super solid. And I just took a um, chopstick, a, a reusable chopstick, and stirred it all up so that it is more um, usable. A little goes a long way. This is some gr awesome stuff. It has really helped this, the texture of my skin with it being so dry here. Um, what I have been doing, and I'm happy that I have had to refilm this because this is one of the things that I have started. So um, I take a little dab on my middle finger and I put it in the lid of the ointment. And then one of the oils that um, we received this month as a promo was geranium. And geranium is a huge benefit to skin, all skin types. So what I have been doing is I have been putting a drop of the geranium in the rose ointment that is in the lid and morning and night I just mix it up and pat it on, do the upward strokes, I even do it on my chin and neck area um, and I have really, really noticed a difference and I've only been doing this for about four days. Usually about midday, um, I will start seeing not really my makeup cracking because I don't use I don't wear a lot of makeup, but um, I will see some start to see some dry patches, and I have not noticed that since I've been doing this, and nothing has changed in my skincare routine or in the weather other than it actually getting colder, um, other than me using this new product and putting the geranium in it. Um, so I'm, I'm really excited. This looks like I have used a lot. I haven't, and you don't use that much uh, of this product when, when you use it. But I thought it was gonna have a super rosy fragrance, which I am not a fan of rose. But I have to remind myself that, no, Sarah, you're not a fan of synthetic smelling rose. But it, it really doesn't have a rose, a strong rose fragrance. It is a very um, clean smell. Um, and I'm just trying to see. Let me grab my glasses really quick and I will tell you what is in it. Um, so it says, Rose ointment soothes and hydrates skin with premium botanicals and pure essential oils such as rose, tea tree, and ylang-ylang. Easy to use and ultra versatile, this luxurious balm is perfect for use on the lips, cuticles, elbows, knees, and other areas for dry skin. Formulated without parabens, petrochemicals, synthetic fragrances, and artificial colors. Vegan friendly and cruelty free. So this is not just for face. Obviously, you can use it anywhere where you have dry patches um, or just, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be a dry patch. Just put it on where, um, you know, 
you need it and want it. So I really like this. And again, I've been using it with a drop of geranium and I've only been using it on my face. I've not used it anywhere else. Um, another staple that is in every order of mine is the lavender lip balm. This is the only lip balm I use. Um, I will show you what I do. So when you come to the end and you can't get any more out, I still can get a little bit more out of this. There is a little contraption in here that holds about an eighth of a teaspoon of lip balm. That little mechanism will pop out, okay? When it does, I take a little paring knife and just scrape out the rest of that lip balm and I put it in a little tiny, um, it's a, a little screw-on plastic container that you can put, you know, little things, pills, you can actually make it. It's a lip balm container for when you make homemade lip balms. Anyway, I put all the little bits in there and just keep collecting it from all of my used up lavender tubes. And that way I get every single drop out. This is my favorite one. There are a couple others. I know there's a cinnamon, there is a grapefruit, and then I know around the holiday times there's a vanilla mint. I've only tried the lavender and I am sold on it. And I'm even more happy because it's the least expensive of them. Um, but I love it. This is the only thing I use. I don't use lipstick anymore. Um, I only use this and I have not had to this entire season. Um, I have not had the dry cracked lips and that is unheard of. Um, in my first video that I did, um, I actually <coughs> stressed to those of you watching, hand on the Bible, it is not something that I have ever experienced not going through a winter season here in Michigan and not having dry cracked lips, except for this year. Um, and again, I can only contribute it to this because this is the only thing that has changed. Um, I have been drinking a lot more water, a lot more water, um, but I was, I, I was still a water drinker before. Um, so this highly, highly, highly recommend. I throw it on each of my orders, especially if I just need a few more dollars to get me to the next level of, um, of promos. So, um, which I'll be sharing with you very soon. Um, another new to me product are the seedlings wipes. So we do not have babies, but we have dogs. And we also have very staticky laundry right now. And while we are using the wool dryer balls because we have gotten rid of the dryer sheets, because of where we live, the time of year, and it's so hot, and, and I still wear, some of my dress clothes are still synthetic fabrics, there is a lot of electricity. And I refuse to, um, I refuse to, to add dryer sheets back into our laundry cycle. So I have heard that the seedling, seedling wipes are a game changer. Okay, so now I've been using them for about a week. And here's what I will say, they help. Um, but they have not eliminated the need um, for something a little more. So what I have been doing is I have been putting some vinegar in our laundry, especially when there are synthetic clothes that we're washing, because I, I really think those are the culprit of, what, um, of what's causing the, the static. And then I have also heard that if you don't dry your clothes for so long at such a high temperature, first of all, it's not good for your clothes to do that. Second of all, it wastes a lot of money um, and um, resources, you know, heating up those elements and whatnot when it really doesn't need to be that way. Um, but if you can cut back on that, that also helps with the static. But like I said, these have not eliminated it, but it has certainly helped. And at the end of the day, I mean, it smells great. So we use these on our dogs and um, I will definitely be refilling these. I mean, these will be something that I will continue to get. Um, 
again, because I think once we get out of this dry winter weather, um, where everything's just kind of <laughs> static and charged, um, I think these are going to do a really good job in the laundry. And again, they just, they smell so nice. They're so, um, they're so calming and it's the seedlings line. Um, it's their signature scent. I have also known people, I have not, um, I know people who use these to take off their makeup because they're super gentle and each sheet is rather large and so they can do, um, you know, they can remove all their makeup with, with one wipe. So um, again, I will be getting these again because they are very helpful. Um, the next thing I got because we were out um, and we've already busted into them, obviously, are our probiotic, pre and probiotic Life 9. So um, these are shelf stable until you open them. So this one, once we open them, I just keep it in the refrigerator, top shelf, so that um, every time right before dinner, I grab them. Um, we take them at night. Um, and then this one, I just have waiting and it sits on a shelf um, out of the way of the heat or anything, but, um, but it is stable until the container is opened. So um, those are our supplements. Now I did, we have three adults that live um, in our home. Myself, my husband, and my mother lives with us. And each of us are on Essential Rewards. My husband signed up, and the, really the only thing that comes on his essential rewards each month, and he just did it, um, is the Ningxia. So every month we get or are will be getting um, the the Ningxia essential rewards box or uh, promo, and what that is is four large. <laughs> four large bottles of Ningxia, and then I believe there is a 30, I believe there's a 30 pack of the sachets, um, and there might be something else in there, but I can't remember. Um, but that's just gonna be a standing order for him. So he lets me do all the oil stuff. He benefits from them, um, and, and so that was perfect. Well, then my mom said, well, I wanna get in on this, and I was like, Okay, <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you no. So my mom signed up for Essential Rewards and she also gets a box delivered each month. So I think what I'm gonna start doing is because we're getting different things, but we all kind of use them. Um, this is a, you know, oily community right now in our household, which is totally fine by me. Um, I will start showing you what my mom is getting just so you can see the products that are coming into our house and that way if you have questions on how things are being used um, you can ask um, I know this month was a big month for us getting the oils that we scanned um, on with the uh, with the Itovi scanner and so I have actually purchased one of those scanners I was um, I, had, I was um, rewarded with the fact that one of my friends had one, um, although she lives out of state, <laughs> um, and let me try it out when we were together for an event. And so that was super fun. And like I said, I loved that it, um, it confirmed what I knew my body needed, which was um, working on my gut and working on my skin. And so what, she, what my mom purchased were things that she scanned for. Um, so I know that she got the Eucalyptus Blue. I know she got one, uh, she got the Juva Flex Vitality. Um, so I will, I will see if I can pull what she got together and do another just quick video um, because I have not used all those oils that, that she has been using, um, but I still want you to know we have them, and that way, if you guys have questions, I can I can help. Okay, so now, onto the fun stuff, the promos. What did I get for free for buying all the things that I already needed? Okay, first level. At the $90 Essential Rewards level, 
um, I got cedar wood, a 15. So all of the oils that I'm gonna show you, we got for free, they are the 15 mLs, the big daddies, okay? So cedar wood, what do we use cedar wood for? Sleep support, huge here in our family. Um, this is also, this was my saving grace when I had my, um, when I had my, um, I guess my rash from my detoxification. Um, it was so itchy and I had made this amazing spray and it was great, but it was drying it out, which was good, but then it was super itchy. And so the only thing that literally saved me from not, you know, ripping my skin apart was cedar wood. I had, I was almost to the end of a bottle and I filled the rest of it up with fractionated coconut oil, popped a roller top on, and I would just roll it on. Oh my gosh, it was, it was a game changer, absolute game changer. And I did not read um, anywhere where it was for anti-itch or anything like that. I can't even remember. I think it's because I heard that it was moisturizing for skin and great for skin support. And I thought, okay, well this is skin and Lord knows it needs some support, but huge, 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 huge. Absolutely loved it. Can't rave about it enough. I'm very excited because this month, um, both myself, my mom, and my husband qualified for um, the majority of the promos. We have three of these. Um, we have three of these daddies, which I'm jazzed about. Okay, if you are unfamiliar with Essential Rewards, everything you get um, at the one price point, it will keep building on as you keep expanding your order, okay? So the oils that you see me show you next, um, they were because I hit the next, the next increment level for a reward. And again, I was already buying this stuff, so they, all they did was send me oils that I use every day. Um, and again, because there were three of us that placed big orders this month, um, we got them times three. So, um, so cedar wood is one of them. The next one was, let's see here, patchouli. So another 15 ml, huge. Patchouli is not that gross, disgusting, hippie smell that everybody associates patchouli with. The patchouli flower, this is a beautiful, very light, um, relaxing, calming, um, calming scent. Wonderful for skin. A great addition for adding to homemade perfumes so that we are starting to get away from all of those um, commercial brands that are doing nothing but disrupting our bodies and putting harsh chemicals in us that we don't need. Um, a lot of fragrant um, bases will call for patchouli. And I was not a fan. Uh, my mom was a hippie. And, well, she was her version of a hippie growing up. And um, she loved patchouli. And my brother and I were always making fun of her. Like, that is what a dirty hippie smells like. <laughs> Which is so untrue. Like, that's such a blanket statement. Um, and then when, we got, when I got this, I was like, oh my gosh, this is going to be awful. No, again, it goes back to those synthetic smells that we associate with natural botanicals. What I was smelling for so long, thinking like patchouli is awful, was not patchouli. Um, it was a version with a lot of junk and fragrances and chemically altered um, ingredients going in there. It was not real patchouli. So I love this, I use this all the time and I didn't think I would ever say that. Okay, so those two, again, building off of each other. Um, so I got this at the 190. I also got the Ylang Ylang at the 190 because I spent at least $190. So Ylang Ylang, very floral, especially coming off the patchouli. You smell this and then you smell this, very, very florally. Um, very appropriate that these are being promos for February, the month of love. Um, also Heart Awareness Month, and it's in a red bottle. So a little shout out to the American Heart Association. Um, Ylang Ylang is great for uh, women. 
and our uh, hormones. They, it is, um, it naturally promotes the boom pa chicka boom boom desire. Um, a drop or two either, um, you know, on your hands and just rubbed on your thighs, um, your inner thighs. Uh, if you want to dilute it and put a roller um, cap on it and, and roll it on that way. Um, again, another base for perfumes. I love this. Um, it's had to grow on me. This was not one of my favorite scents right out of the gate, but I have since really come to love it. And I'm hoping that changes for a few other scents. And I know it has, because I've been doing oils now since September, and we are in February. And so in that time, there have been many oils that I have received, and I was like, oh my gosh, like, I know it's good for me, but this really reeks. And every time that I use it, and I just grin and bear it, um, I am finding that I am no longer offended by many of the oils that I was first very much turned off by. Um, so I don't know, maybe it's because my body needed them so much. Um, maybe it was because my body realizes that, you know what, it's, it's a give and take and, and we like what they're doing for us, so suck it up, buttercup. But anyway, Ylang Ylang was, um, again, at the 190. So, Cedarwood, Patchouli and Ylang Ylang. And then the next one was, I believe it was Rudavala, Roll-On. I think this was, no, sorry, it was Geranium. My next one was Geranium. So this is one of the oils that I stand it but it's amazing for my skin. <laughs> and it's not a super strong smell. It's just not one that I, um, I'm drawn to. I love floral scents. I love very light, clean, fresh. I love woodsy smells. Um, you know, almost leaning more towards the masculine smelling type oils. But um, I love what geranium does for, for me so far. Like I said, it has changed um, how my face feels and looks halfway through the day. And I'm only a week into using, I don't even think I'm a full week. Maybe I'm a full week um, using the product. So geranium was another promo. And then the last promo that I qualified for um, my family did not qualify for the geranium or the Rudavala Roll-On, um, but, but they qualified for the other three. So we have a nice little stockpile, which I'm happy for. Um, I get excited seeing all my extra oils as much as I get excited seeing all my opened oils because I look at that stockpile and think two thirds of that I didn't buy. It was given to me because I was buying things already. So I'm looking at this growing supply of things that we need and things that we're going to use and things that I would probably be buying um, and Young Living is sending them to me for free. Um, okay, last thing, Rudavala. Rudavala Roll-On. Um, very interesting smell. Not... Not one that I would think like, oh, yes, I'm going to grab this and load up. But it's not offensive. This roll-on, um, I have been told, is great for sleep support, especially when you wake up in the middle of the night and you need to get back to sleep. A lot of people will keep this next to their bed, and when they wake up in the middle of the night, roll this on their wrists, you know, keep it near their, um, you know, face so they can smell it, breathe it in, roll it on the bottoms of their feet. I have done that, um, and I did, um, because I still used it in conjunction with all my other little things that I do at night, which is um, cedar wood, lavender, or lavender and peace and calming. Um, the only thing I could say is maybe it put me in a deeper sleep. Um, I can't remember if this, if I used this, there was one night I slept so 
hard and did not move from when I went to bed until I woke up that I actually had a stiff neck because I was out. That might have been the night that I used this, but I can't remember, so I, I can't say for sure. But I have heard a lot of people say this is um, a wonderful addition. Like if you're traveling, sleeping in a hotel with, you know, beds that aren't yours or at, you're at, you know, your, you know, in-laws, whoever. Um, take this, especially if maybe you can't take your diffuser. Um, we've been very lucky the places that we've been able to travel. I just throw, um, throw my diffuser in there and uh, pack it up with me. But this might be an, um, a great alternative. So you can buy these. Don't think that just because I got it for free that you can't still purchase these. These are all products that you can purchase on your own. I'm just fortunate that because of what I had to buy this month, um, I was reward, rewarded with a few extra things. So that, my friends, is the last bit of my February um, essential rewards order. Like I said, I will pull together something and show you guys what my mom got just because I think it's interesting to see what people get, why they got it, how they're using it, um, things they found along the way. She's probably not going to want to get on camera, but I will for sure um, document why she's using it and how she is um, how she's responding to it. I know a lot of the items that she got were because um, she's older. You know, she's in her early sixties and or mid sixties, and she needs it for structural support. So obviously, she is. Um, as you get older, especially women, we lose a lot of calcium, we lose a lot of estrogen, we lose um, a lot of what we need in our bodies to help support us. So her, her iTovi scan was like, like, lady, you need some help. Um, so I do know a lot of her stuff was all around that. And um, she has been religiously using the products, which I'm so happy for. She's never balked at it um, at all. Uh, every day she sees some sort of improvement, whether it's in, um, you know, products that we're using in our home or, you know, her sleep support, whatever it is. So I will let you guys know um, a little update on that kind of stuff. But in the meantime, if you guys have any questions about how to start Essential Rewards or how to even start in the world um, of oils. I would love to help you. We can go on this journey together. We have a great community that is around to help answer questions and give firsthand advice and just to reevaluate what we are bringing into our homes and what we are putting into our bodies. And so I am very thankful that Young Living um, has come into my life and um, it has given me an opportunity to not only make better choices for what my family needs, um, but along the way, it's sending me free stuff. And the more I share, the more people get excited. And that, that makes me happy. So any questions, leave them in the comment section below. But until then, I hope you guys have a great week and be blessed and get oily. Bye.